hi everyone. Welcome to your Wednesday, no, I lied, your Monday, uh, in a yoga and Pilates session. So this will be a more intermediate practice, um, combining both yoga and Pilates, and today we're going to focus on hips. Um, everyone always loves to do hip openers, a lot of us feel tight in our hip area, so we will work on that today. If you have a block or something similar to a yoga block, that would be a great prompt to use today. And if you have a yoga belt um, or any sort of a towel, belt, strap, anything will do. Um, we're going to do some stretching of your hamstrings using that today. So without further ado, let's just come to a seated position. You can sit like I was just there on my knees or you can come to a cross-legged position. Go ahead and close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. And begin to breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Long, steady inhale. As you do, turn your attention inwards, focusing on your own mind, body, what's going on with you right now. With every inhalation, imagine breathing in energy, relaxation. With every exhalation, imagine letting go of stress, letting go of tension. Notice those areas in your body where you feel stress or tension. A lot of us feel it in our neck, in our shoulders, and in our hips, which is why we're going to work on our hips today. So inhale deeply, breathing all the way to those joints. And as you exhale, give them permission to let go. Let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. Let your knees relax down away from your body, letting go of those hip muscles. Let the neck and the jaw and the temples release. And just try to focus on that inhale and that exhale. Let's take a deep inhale, extend your arms upwards, opening your eyes, bringing your gaze up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring your hands behind your body, pressing into the floor, pressing down into it, just opening up your chest, pulling your shoulders back. Good, coming to neutral. If you're not cross-legged, go ahead and see if you can sit cross-legged for a moment. And then walk your hands forward, letting your head bow down towards the floor, feeling a stretch in your hips here. Taking a deep inhale, exhale to release. Again, walk back up. Inhale to extend the arms up. Exhale to twist, placing one hand behind, the other on the thigh. It doesn't matter which direction you go, we're going to do both. Breathing deeply into the spine, into the lungs, feeling that twist. Good. Come back to center and switch the cross of your legs. It'll probably feel very strange. And then inhale again. And exhale to extend forward, walking those hands forward, letting the head melt down. Once again, letting the hips relax. Breathing into the back body. And then walk yourself back up. Deep inhalation. As you exhale, twisting to the other side. Hand on the thigh, hand behind you. Looking back gently over that shoulder. Taking a deep breath, feeling the ribs. Feeling that expansion. And exhale back to center. Good, open up the legs now. Separate them wide. Toes towards the ceiling, kneecaps towards the ceiling. I realize you can't probably see my toes, but there they are. <laughs> Flex your feet towards the ceiling. Good. Let one arm, I'm going to just do your right arm, just go kind of across your body and lift the opposite arm up and over and bend down into that leg. So you're reaching for the toes. It doesn't matter if you touch them. It's more important that you stay open here 
And so you're laterally bending. Take a deep inhalation. Good. Come up a little bit and then rotate so you're facing that leg. And then just melt over, letting the head go. Taking a deep breath. And walk yourself back up. Walk those hands forward again, hinging from the hips. So you're aiming your belly down towards the mat, walking the hands forward, toes towards the ceiling, taking a deep breath. Seeing if you can release through those inner thighs, keeping the toes towards the ceiling. Good. Walk back up. Bring the opposite leg in. And then press into that hand. So left hand in, left leg in, pushing up, lifting up, stretching through, pressing up to that right hip flexor. Good, release the body down. Extend that left leg out again, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna laterally bend to this side. So left arm just can come across, right arm reaches up and over, turning towards the ceiling again, keeping the body open towards the front. Deep breath in, long exhalation out, breathing into that right side body. Good, press yourself up, turning towards that leg, let your body melt down. Now noticing the breath going into the back body. Good. Walk those hands back to center. See if you can go out a little bit further than we did last time, bringing the belly down towards the mat. So you're aiming your, your abdomen, then your ribs, then your chest to the mat, rather than letting your head just sort of drop over. You really want to think about extending from that back spine, the lower spine, I should say. Again, walk yourself back up and bring this opposite leg across. Now right foot across, left leg extended, pressing up. Opening up that left hip flexor. This is like a modified wild thing. Good. Come back down. And bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly posture, Baddha Sitting up nice and tall, pressing those knees down. Inhaling and exhaling. And now once again, hinging forward. Let the head drop. Let the back round. Good. Come on up. Come over onto hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Neutral spine and just a couple cow cats to warm up here. Inhaling and exhaling, really arching up. Starting with the tailbone as you inhale, ending with the chest. Starting with the tailbone as you exhale, ending with the head towards the belly button. The last time. Good. Pressing up, really, really, really arching through. Excellent. Press up to a plank from here. So hands on your shoulders, knees on or um, no, not knees under hips. <laughs> Just hands on your shoulders, belly button in. If you'd like to put your knees down to modify plank, you can. Otherwise, let's stay up here for a moment. Breathing into it. Good. Go ahead and drop one knee down. It doesn't matter what you do. You can do left to be near image for me, but just drop one deep knee down and then pivot to the side so you're in a modified side plank here. And then lift that leg up that's extended. You can, of course, do this from a full side plank, but let's not go crazy first thing, right? Go ahead and give me a few lifts here of this leg that's extended, pressing up. It's not a big kick. Really small lift, lift, and lift. Good, pause and go ahead and make circles one direction. And pause and make circles the other direction. And pause. Good, press yourself up. I'm just going to scoot so I don't end up off frame. All right, we're going to do bridge pose. This is a good time to use your block. I don't like to put weight on our knees. So go ahead and put that block next to your leg. You can adjust depending on where you end up needing it. 
Lift your opposite arm up and over, side bend into that, and then go ahead and place that hand on the block. So you'll typically see this with a hand on the leg, but it's really easy to put pressure on your knee that way. So I don't really tend to like to do that. Breathing into the side body, breathing into that hip flexor on this, your left side. Good. Press yourself up. Go ahead and just move that block out of your way. We'll need it again in a moment. Come back to your plank. I'm just going to turn around the other way so I don't end up with my back to you. Belly button in. You're looking in between your thumbs on your plank. Hips lifted. Again, you can always drop to your knees if need be. Try to make a long straight line from your head down to your toes. Good. And then drop the opposite leg. Pressing up. Make sure you do the other side from what you just did. Go ahead and place that block beside you. And then lift that arm up and over, bending into that side. And the hand goes on the block. So just find the place where you want it, right? You want it basically under your shoulder. Kind of, for me, it's by my knee, but I just don't want my hand on my knee. Taking a deep breath. Go ahead and press yourself up. Go ahead and move that block out of the way. Come back to your plank. I know three planks right at the beginning. It's okay. We won't do too many of them. Go ahead and lower all the way down to the mat. Good. Inhale, sliding those hands up. Let's come to sphinx, to sphinx posture. So your forearms are still on the floor. Your hips are on the floor. You're contracting your heels to support your spine. And you're imagining peeling your abdominals away from the mat. Take a breath into this. Good. Release that down. Press yourself up. We're going to come to a frog posture. Depending on the surface of your floor, you might want a towel or something. If you have pants on, you should help. If you have carpet, it's a little bit harder. But I want you to take one knee off to the side so that you split your legs. Knees are bent. Slide your legs apart from one another. And then just go ahead and bring your head down to the mat. So you'll notice that it kind of changes depending on if you shift forward or shift backwards. So just go where you're getting a good stretch. Feet are flexed. And you're like a frog, right? Frog's legs. Take a deep breath here. Don't overstretch. This is a challenging posture. It's a pretty deep stretch. So just hold this for a moment. Opening through those inner thighs. Good, then walk that knee back in. Come back to your plank, lower all the way down. Good, arms beside your body, lifting your chest, lifting your legs in a locust. Legs are off the body, arms are flying back behind you, chest is lifted, squeezing the glutes. Breathe into that. Good, release that down, put the hands on the mat. Curl your toes under, pressing up to your first downward facing dog. So hands are outstretched in front of you. Heels are pressing towards the mat. Go ahead and bend one knee, bend the other knee, flexing into the opposite leg, stretching through that hamstring. Good, walking feet towards hands, letting yourself hang over for a moment, letting the head dangle, the weight of it bringing you down. Maybe some bounces or some twists, gently, not hurting yourself, of course. Sliding your hands halfway up your shins, finding Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Notice that your legs aren't locking. You should be making a letter L with your body, an upside down letter L. Breathe into the belly button. Good. Forward fold all the way down and extend all the way up. Deep inhalation and exhale. Hands to heart center. Alright, so the screen is just the top of my mat, my head on Facebook Live, but I'm not cut off, so we're going to right where it is. All right, we're going to start with some sun salutations. Inhaling up. Exhaling, hinge forward. Inhaling, flat back, halfway up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the right foot back, releasing that knee, rising up into a low crescent lunge. Pressing forward, opening that hip flexor on the right-hand side. Deep inhalation. Good. Hands down to the mat, stepping the left foot back. Drop into knees if you need, otherwise chaturanga, your option if you keep hips on the floor in cobra or come up to an up dog. Curling toes under, pressing heels down. 
Extend the right leg and just hold it. See if you can keep it straight back, not rotating your hips this time. So you're not lifting it all the way up in here. And then swing that right leg forward, planting it down, followed by left forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Immediately exhaling, hinging forward. Inhale, slide halfway up. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping the left foot back, releasing that knee down, opening up to your crescent lunge on this side. Inhaling if you'd like, extending the arms upwards, opening chest towards the ceiling. Good, hands find the mat, stepping that right foot back, chaturanga from toes or from knees, cobra or up dog, curling the toes under, pressing back, extending the left leg high. Straight up so you're not tilting over, just stretching the right hamstring. And swing the left foot forward, planting it down, forward fold, inhale, all the way up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot steps back, coming to a low lunge, pressing that back heel, knee is right over um, ankle, so we're not putting pressure on our knee. Keeping the right hand in the mat, turning towards that knee, twisting, left arm extends up, and let's just make a couple circles with this left arm. And then circle it down to the mat, stepping the left foot back, chaturanga. Up to your cobra, up dog, pressing back, down dog. This time extend the right leg and then bend that right knee, dropping it towards the opposite side, lifting through that right knee, opening up the hip, so you're stacking right hip on left. I'm right by the wall here. <laughs> I had to push back so I could be in frame. Good, bring that leg back to center, swing it all the way through, followed by left forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale immediately hinging forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, left foot steps back, runner's lunge on this side. Once again, check that knee is over ankle, that you're not tracking forward. Taking a deep breath. Keeping the left hand in the mat, turning and opening. Gazing up towards that extended right arm. Deep inhale here. Making a couple circles with that arm. And hand finds the floor, stepping the right foot back. Chaturanga, cobra up dog, and down dog. Extend the left leg, this time bending the knee, dropping it towards the right, stacking left hip on top of right. Taking a breath here. Good, bringing that leg all the way forward, planting it down, forward fold, inhale all the way up, exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale flat back, exhale release, inhale step the right foot back, coming to a high lunge this time, hands at heart center, inhale, extend the arms upwards, Twisting high here, so twisting towards the left side, the arms drop, let the back arm drop down, front arm comes up, exalted warrior. Cartwheel down to the floor, left foot steps back, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra, exhale, press back, down dog. Optional here to flip the dog, right leg comes up, bends over, drops down to the mat, left leg extends, right leg is bent, looking back over the shoulder, pressing the hips up. Good, and then when you're ready, flipping back over, swinging that leg all the way forward, rising up into a high lunge. Hands at heart center, twisting towards the right side, left elbow against the thigh, and a low twist this time. Looking up past the right shoulder. Good. Hands on the mat. Stepping the left foot forward. Bending the knees. Rising up into chair. Utkatasana. Holding here for a moment. Inhaling. Exhaling. Fold. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Left foot steps back this time. Rising up here to your lunge. High twist. Turning towards that front leg. Back arm drops down, front arm comes up, exalted warrior on this side. Nice deep breath. 
Good, cartwheeling down to the mat. Footsteps back, chaturanga. Cobra up dog, pressing back to down dog. Optional, flipping the dog on the left side. Left leg comes up and over. Pushing the right leg forward, keeping the left leg bent. Looking back over the shoulder, pressing up through the hips. Good, flipping back around. Swing that foot all the way forward, coming up to a high lunge on this side. This time, hands at heart center. Pushing through that back leg. And now twisting towards that front knee, locking the elbow against the knee, looking past the left shoulder. Taking a deep breath. Good, coming back up. And step that foot forward, bending the knees, rising up into chair again. Hands at heart center. Sitting low, knees come back, shift the hips back. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to work through some sun salutation Bs and add some standing postures. Inhale, extending up. Coming into chair, mighty posture. Hands at heart or extended, hold it. Make sure you can wiggle your toes. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands to mat. Option to jump back here if you would like. Working through chaturanga to your up dog, coming to down dog. And let's just pause here in down dog for a moment. Option once again to bend the knees, flexing one foot and then the other foot. Good. Inhale, extend the right leg up, straight up. And hinge forward, bring knee towards chest and extend up. You can inhale forward or inhale back, it doesn't matter. But one breath forward, one breath back. Bringing nose towards knee, the further forward you go, the harder it is. One more time with movement. This time bringing that leg all the way forward, coming to warrior one. I'm just going to switch directions because I'm not facing you. Good. So left foot is going to pivot, right knee is bent, hips are forward, hands are heart center or extended. Good. Open the chest. Maybe the gaze goes towards the ceiling. Keep pushing into this back leg, keeping that leg nice and straight, but trying to keep the hips forward. Good. So thinking of this left hip flexor, it is rotated inward right now. We're going to rotate it outwards, coming to our warrior two. Gaze is out over that front hand. Knee over ankle. Belly button in. Good. Taking a deep breath. So opening up through this hip. Think about this left hip opening out. The right leg opening out. Really staying open through here. Shoulders pulled together in the back. Coming to your side angle bend. Arm can come across the thigh. Or this is another good opportunity for the block. The block can come to the floor. Or the hand can come to the floor. But you want to stay open here. If your body is having to stretch and reach down, you want to use the block or keep your hand on your knee. The deeper you bend that front knee, the easier that will be. Taking a breath, pressing up, reversing the warrior, back hand goes behind the back. Open up towards the sky. Good, cartwheel down to the floor. Chaturanga. Inhale up to cobra, up dog, exhale, press back. This time my back will be to you, but that's okay. Left leg's gonna extend up, hinge forward, hugging knee to chest. Kick that leg up and back, hinge forward, knee to chest, two more times like this. Good, and then this time as you come forward, go ahead and plant that foot down, pivoting the back foot, rising up, Virabhadrasana one on this side. So you'll notice my leg is not at a 90 degree bend. That's because I want to keep my hips forward, and I can't do that if I bend my knee too deeply. But everyone's different, you might be able to. Again, focusing on that right hip. Keep your drishti, your focal point in front of you. You're looking out in the distance. Keep the gaze there as you open up, coming to warrior two. The back foot doesn't have to move. It's still at an angle. Knee over ankle, maybe the knee bends a little more. Opening both hips out, pressing them back, pulling the shoulder blades actively together. Holding here strong for a couple of breaths. And then coming to your side, it will bend, knee block or floor, arms straight up or reaching over, past the ear. 
Again, it's like you're between two panes of glass. Your back and your chest are pressed between two panes of glass. No twisting of the spine. Good, pressing up, right arm behind the back, left arm up, reversing that warrior. Good, cartwheel down to the floor, hands by the mat. And inhale, up to your cobra. Exhale, back to your down dog. Option to come to child's pose if you'd like to take a rest. And then stepping the right foot forward or hopping two feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, bending the knees, rising up into chair. Mighty pose. Good, forward fold, hopping or stepping the left foot back, coming to plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, exhale, press back. This time, extend that right leg up. We're gonna open up to the right elbow. So right knee comes to right elbow, and then we kick up and back. Right knee to right elbow, hinging forward, really working our abs, working our shoulders, and opening up our hips. This time, bring that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Block will be handy here. Go ahead and release the back knee on the floor. Knee over ankle. If your knee is, if your foot is um, too far back, just scooch it forward. You don't want to be tracking out over your toes here. We're going to come to lizard. So the block might be useful. Keep that foot all the way on the edge of the mat. Bring your forearms down to the block at any level, or all the way down to the mat. Lift up on the back heel. You don't have, or the back toes. You don't have to lift up. If you want to leave that knee down, you can. If this isn't working, find yourself on the block. It's better to be on forearms than hands. So just elevate yourself, and then you use that right shoulder and press gently against the, the leg. But try to keep your foot pressed onto the floor. Take a deep breath here. And again, if it's too much being up on this back leg, go ahead and place it down. Into that inner thigh. Good, press yourself up, wiggle that foot forward. Step it back, coming to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, press back, holding your down dog. All right, we're gonna go straight to the other side. Extend the left leg up. Bring the left knee to the left elbow as you hinge forward, and kick it back. Left knee, left elbow, and kick it back. Two more times, opening up the hip here. And this time, stepping that left foot all the way forward. Again, outside of the left hand, edge of the mat. Releasing the back foot down to set yourself up. Grabbing your block if you need to. Coming to forearms and then popping up in that butt, back foot if you want. And now you can see my shoulders by that, that leg and I'm pressing against you to open up my hip. Without rolling my foot. We want to keep this in contact with the mat. Your hip is in contact here with the joint. And by pressing against your leg, you open up the muscle. Take a deep breath. It's not everyone's favorite posture. I appreciate that. Good. Go ahead and press yourself up. Scooch that foot to the middle. Coming back to plank. Lowering down. Pressing up to cobra. Exhale back to your down dog. And when you're ready, stepping left foot forward or hopping two feet forward, coming into your mighty pose. I'm sweating, I don't know about y'all. Good, and let's come all the way up. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Another round. Coming into chair, Utkatasana. Belly in. So it's called chair in English, because you kind of look like a chair. But the translation of Utkatasana is not chair, it's powerful pose or mighty pose. Good, forward fold, stepping right foot or hopping two feet back, coming to plank. From your plank, tap the right foot out. Tap and back in, tap, back in, tap, back in, tap, and in. Good, lower down, chest, chin, and hips. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, press back. This time we're going to come across the body. Legs going to lift up. We're going to twist right knee to right elbow. 
Good, and back up. Right knee to right elbow. Two more times. Last time, and now this time, bring that foot all the way across and plant it outside your body. Come onto your right hand. Right leg's extended, right hand, left leg up. I mean, left arm up, not your leg. If you want, you can lift up your right leg. It's called fallen triangle. If you lift up your leg, you might fall, but that's okay. Put that foot down, come back on over, step that foot across, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Same thing, other side, left leg comes up, comes across, left knee to right elbow. Three, and two. Last one, this time swinging that foot all the way out there. Coming up, right arm lifts up. I can't lift my left leg because I'm against the wall. <laughs> but if you want to lift your left leg, you can. Holding it. Three, two, and one. Hand finds the mat. Step back to plank. Left foot steps out. Tap, tap. Three, four, and five. Chaturanga. Cobra up dog. Pressing back. Down dog. We're taking a break. We've got one more round after this. Feeling free to take a break in child's pose if you would like. Shoulders rolling away from the ears. If you're in child's pose, coming back up, bending the knees, stepping the right foot forward or hopping two feet forward, rising up into Utkatasana. Holding, holding, holding. Knees over ankles, belly in. Try not to stick the butt out. Long, straight spine. Good forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, hop your stepping left foot back. Coming to plank. Lift the right leg up and tap down. Lift up, tap down. So you're not arching your back here. It's just a little lift, it's not a giant kick. Good, lower it down. Chaturanga. Cobra. Down dog. Holding here for a moment. Good, extend the right leg up, swing it forward, plant it down. Once again, coming to your warrior one, your Vajrasa one. Good. Open that up, warrior two. Hand or gaze over the hand, knee over ankle, pushing into that back pinky toe. Can you go a tiny bit deeper? Tiny bit deeper. Belly and chest lifted. Good, coming into triangle, extending that front leg. Hinging forward, another good opportunity for blocks. I don't like hands on legs, it's not great for the knee. What you want to do is stay really open here, long spine. So if you're reaching and you're all rounded over, come up higher and you can put your hand on a block. Alternatively, you can just let the hand go. Work on the core. Good. And press yourself up. I'm going to turn. You can just turn your body if you want or you can move your computer so you're facing my orientation. Heels are, toes are turned out, heels are turned in. We're gonna drop into goddess. So pressing those thighs outwards so they really stay over the um, ankles, knees over ankles. You can bring hands to heart center or you can come up to full goddess. Good. Can you sink low? Can you twist and center? Twist and center, good. Two more each side, twist and center. One more. Last twist. Good. Drop lower. Press those heels back. Good. Rising up. Now pivot the feet forward parallel. Hinging forward. Letting the head drop. Letting the body go. Coming into crouching tiger, you're going to bend that front knee. Deep bend. Left leg stays straight. There are various binds here. You can wrap your arms around and bind. I just personally like to keep my hands on the floor here. But you decide. If your right heel's lifting up, you can press it towards the mat, but if you don't quite make it, that's okay. Good, pivot back forward. Step the right foot back. Plank, lifting the left leg. And lift. And lift. Three. Two, 
One, press it down. Press up, downward facing dog. Look at that, I skipped a vinyasa for you. That's a lovely sound. Apologies for that. Left leg swings up, swings forward, plants down. I'm going to switch sides again, and I'll cut my back to you. Coming up to warrior one. Good. Pulling the right hips forward, left knee is bent, opening the chest, gazing towards the ceiling if you want, and then opening up, warrior two. Pressing out through those hips, belly and chest lifted. Deep breath in. What we don't want to do is reach, right? We're not hinging. We're vertical. It's like someone's pulling us back and pulling us forward, and we're right here in the middle. Straighten that front leg and hinge forward, triangle, reaching, 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 reaching. Let the front arm go down. Let the top arm come up. Gaze towards it. Good. Press yourself up. Once again, pivot forward. Toes turned out, heels turned in. Dropping into goddess. Arms can stay up right center or they can come up to goddess pose. Your option. And lifting up on the right toe, so your right heel is in the air. And we're going to pulse. Pulse. Three, four, five, and six and switch, but notice my body doesn't move, right? It's just the heel comes up, and pulse. Pulse, keep the chest lifted. Sorry about that noise out there. It's very loud. Welcome to live in the city. But I'm on this nice patio, so it seems a shame to waste it. Good, press all the way up, bring the hands behind the back, feet turned in, and hinge forward. Let the arms float overhead. Good, rising up and bending the left knee this time. Extending the right leg, coming into Crouching Tiger on this side. Good, pivoting, coming to your plank, stepping the front foot back, and exhale Chaturanga. Inhale Cobra, drop to knees, Press back on your heels, coming to child's pose. Letting the head rest down towards the mat. Deep inhale in. Releasing it. And rising up, hands in front of you, curling the toes under, press up to downward facing dog. And then stepping the left foot forward or hopping two feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, rising up into Utkatasana, hands and heart center, or extended, your option. Lifting the chest, can you drop a little lower? Come to Ardha Uttanasana, Utkatasana rather. So your knees are bent, your arms are extended, you're bringing your chest towards your thighs. Can you drop even lower? Good, forward fold, extend the legs, grabbing hold of your big toes. Pulling the crown of your head downwards. And then bend your knees and roll your body up. One vertebra at a time. Deep inhale, extend up. And exhale. Hands to the heart. Okay. So I'm going to face you again. Ooh, very warm. I'm glowing. Okay. So I'm going to face you. We're going to do some balancing. So you can do whatever leg you want first. If you tend to wobble when you're balancing, I encourage a wall. I'd rather you stand with a wall than not use the wall and be doing this, right? That doesn't help anybody. So go ahead and root yourself two feet right underneath your hips, engaging the glutes, engaging the core, the abs, ribs coming in. Good. Let's, I'm going to stay on my right leg. You can do mirror beans on your left leg. Your option. Bring the opposite leg to your chest. Pull it all the way in. Roll that ankle a couple of times. If you are on carpet, balance will be a lot harder. Nothing, don't do it. I'm just warning you. 
open up that knee. So without holding onto the knee, hold the shin. Open that leg out to the side. Option to extend the arm to kind of counterbalance. You could also put hand on the hip. Option to extend this leg. So grabbing either the toe, the ankle, or part of the leg. See if you can extend that leg out. And hold it. Can you bring it back to center? Can you release it and hold it? And then lower down, down, down. Good. Plant that foot on the floor. Reground yourself. Shift into your opposite leg. Bring the knee up, hugging knee to chest. Rolling that ankle a couple of times, each direction. Opening that leg out. Again, hand can stand hip, arm can extend. You decide what works for you. Without tugging the knee, right? You're holding the shin. And your hips stay forward. And then grabbing home wherever you want, seeing if you can extend that leg. I like to extend the arm for balance. Your option. Good, bring that leg forward, forward, forward. It's a lovely view of my foot. <laughs> and can you release it and hold it? And lower down, down, down. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Fold and bend your knees. Bring your hands all the way under your feet. So your toes are at your wrists. Your hands are somewhere in the middle of your foot. And then extend your legs long. Let your head drop, pulling against your feet. See if you can straighten your legs. See if you can bring your head closer to the floor. Good, release your hands, bend your knees. We're gonna be stepping back into plank, one foot or the other, come back into plank. Lowering all the way down to the mat. Slide the hands out, coming to swan. It's a Pilates version of this. Shoulders down and back, chest lifted, so arms are extended out in front of us, but our hips are on the mat, so it's not up dog, but it's also not cobra. Take a deep breath. Good, release that down, slide the hands back, curl the toes under, come back to your downward facing dog. Extend the right leg up, and now we're going to come to pigeon. So bring the right leg across the body, planting it down. If pigeon is not appropriate for you, come onto your back and do modified pigeon on your back. We don't want to roll and sit on our glute. So if that happens, just wedge your block under your butt, okay? So take a moment here, stretch that back leg, the left leg in my case behind you. Sit up tall, see if you can come as low down to the mat as you can, and then if you want, you can come forward, resting your head on the floor, resting your head on a block, whatever is comfortable. And just release in here to pigeon for a moment. Breathing into it, really letting the hips go. Keep thinking about scooching the back foot back and the front foot forward so it's not tucked under your body. You can extend the arms out in front of you. You can extend one arm out in front of you. Decide what works for you on the arms. Good. If you want to do royal pigeon, go ahead and press yourself up. Bend the back knee and go ahead. You can grab it with the foot. You can grab the ankle. You could hook it. If anybody can reach your toe, you could grab your toe. I do the modified here. Holding on here. Keep dropping low, open the chest. Good, and hands to the floor. Press straight back to your three-legged down dog. Drop that foot to the side again, and just make some circles with the hips. So just big hip circles, both directions. Good, come back to center, place that leg down. Jog through the legs. Left leg comes up, bring it across the body, coming to pigeon on this side. So right leg scoots back behind you. And again, this hip, this glute should be up off the mat, but you can wedge a block under there if that works better. Sit up nice and tall. Take a moment here. You want to really lengthen your spine in this position before you melt down to the mat. And then if you'd like, go ahead and fold forward. Again, you can put a block 
You can extend arms out. You decide what works. Keep reaching that right leg back behind you. Keep trying to bring the left foot away from the body. And breathe into this hip. And then if you want to do more of a pigeon on this side, pressing yourself up, bending that knee. Just coming to here can be enough because you're really getting a good hamstring and that quadricep stretch on there. If you want to come to Royal Pigeon, whatever version of it you wish, you can. Woo! As I <laughs> fall over. Let's see if the teacher can do it. Apparently not today. That's all right. All right, press yourself up. Kick that left leg up. Bend the knee and make circles with that hip. Each direction. Good, place that foot down, drop to the knees and come to child's pose. So that's something I can normally do, but right now, for whatever reason, I can't. So you could go, oh my goodness, what is she doing? Showing us posture she can't do. I can get upset with myself or we just let it go. No big deal. Good, go ahead and come on up. Swing the legs around. Good, we're gonna come to one bridge, or not bridge, um, tabletop, reverse tabletop. So hands pointing towards feet, and let's just press ourselves up. This won't work your shoulders here. So pull your shoulders back, press your hips up. Don't let your knees flare open. And just hold here for a moment. Good. And go ahead and lower that down. And we're going to come all the way to the mat. Lower yourself all the way down. Give yourself a stretch. Arms overhead. Legs down below. Okay. We're going to do little Pilates here just because something different. So you could do a single leg, um, single bent leg stretch with your like bent, but I'm going to keep legs straight in your variation. So one leg's going to come up, body's going to come up to meet it, and down. And other side, and down. Good. So the leg kicks, kicks up as the body. Well, I shouldn't say kick because you really want to be lifting it, not hurling it. If this is too much, you could bend your knees. That will make it slightly easier. Good. Last one each side. And release down. Good. Go ahead and grab your strap or whatever you're using in lieu of one. Put it over the arch of your foot. See if you can extend the left leg, but if it's more comfortable, go ahead and bend it. And then extend the right leg. The reason for using this is that I don't want you all like hunched up, right? I want you to be able to release your shoulders, release your back. Gently pull that right leg towards your body. Flexing your foot against the strap. Flexing your left leg, pressing it away from your body that way. Good. Take the strap both in the outside, in my case it's my right leg, in the right hand, and lower that leg down towards the floor. I'm going to hit the wall, <laughs> but you can go further. But you don't want to roll, so that leg is probably not going to go all the way down to the floor unless you're a dancer, because I want the left hip to stay on the mat, so it doesn't matter if you don't go very low. Even if I wasn't at the wall, I wouldn't go very much further. I have three cameras going, so I have to try to make sure that all camera angles can see. <laughs> Good, bring that leg back. Now come across the body. You can take in the opposite hand. Same thing, try not to let the hip lift. So your leg is not going to come all the way to the floor. That's completely impossible. Keep the right hip grounded in the mat. Take your hand and hold it there. We're stretching or getting a nice stretch through a different part of our hamstring here. Good, and then bring it back to center. Go ahead and release the strap. Hug that knee into your chest. And then bring it across the body for a twist. Cactusing the arms, looking over the right shoulder. If this right knee is way up in the air, go ahead and bend your left knee under it to support it. Okay, 
come back to center, hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock, center yourself on your mat. Good. And extend the right leg long. Grab your strap. Hook it under the arch of your left leg. And press that left leg towards the ceiling. So again, if that right leg isn't all the way down, if it's bent, that's fine. Those of you who have the flexibility, work on really pressing that leg all the way into the mat. Gently pulling here. If you tend to be hypermobile, my knees tend to lock. I like to keep a tiny, 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 tiny bend in the knee, just a little bit, just so you don't lock it. Pulling it gently towards your body, but our shoulders are relaxed, right? No tension up here, goosey goosey, but just pulling these arms. Transfer the straps. Left hand opening out to the side, but notice here, like I have all the space to go, but I'm not going all the way to the mat because that would roll me all the way over. That doesn't do anything. I feel a stretch if I keep my hips in the mat. And you once again get a lovely view of the top of my foot. Good, then bring it across the body. This time keeping the left hip, oops, see that? It started to roll. Bring that left hip all the way to the mat. Just bring the leg across. If how camera crew, we'd like to move the camera, we do different angles, but I'm not that fancy, so y'all on my YouTube channel, this is what you get. Good, bring it back to center, bend the knee, go ahead and place your strap to the side, hug that left knee into the body, bring it across the body, cactus the arms out, Turning and looking over the left shoulder. Good, roll back to center, hug both knees into your chest. And then come to happy baby, legs, hands in between the legs, rocking side to side. Bring the soles of the feet together, lower them down onto the mat, bringing one hand to your abdomen, one hand to heart center, closing your eyes, and taking some deep breaths in here, breathing into the belly, feeling the hand rise, feeling the hand on the chest rise, and then feeling them both fall. Three deep breaths. Letting go of the knees. Go ahead and extend the legs, bring the hands behind to the side of the body, palms up for Savasana. and bring yourself to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if you would like. Sitting up tall as we began the class, shoulders down away from the ears, chest lifted, spine long. And take a deep inhale. Open the mouth and let it go. And again, inhaling. And let it go. Inhale as you extend the arms out, press and them together, palms overhead, exhale, hands to heart. And just pause here for a moment, checking back in with your body. Noticing again your heart, your breath, the muscles and the joints in your body. Notice if where tension is, stress lie, if it's changed from an hour ago, it's the same without judgment. Just observation. And namaste. Thank you all very much, those of you who joined me on Instagram Live, on Facebook Live, and on YouTube. My name is Monica, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks so much for sharing your energy with me, and have a great rest of your day.